I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about a product that's probably one of the most underutilized products in a plumbing system, but is absolutely one of the most necessary, and that is Y strainers. Y strainers are intended to protect the downstream equipment from debris within the municipal water supply. Now I know, I know, most people always say the same thing. John, it's potable water. Potable water is defined as water that's pure, clean, and safe to drink. That is correct, the water itself is. But within that distribution system, there are a lot of debris. It, it occurs naturally. For example, you'll see calcification plating itself out on the inside of the pipes within the water distribution system. And out here in the west, as an example, we get a little seismic activity, shake the ground a little bit. It knocks loose all that calcification within the pipeline. Well, naturally, once it's knocked loose, it's going to follow the water downstream and ultimately end up within your house. So as I tell most folks that will take the time to listen to me, strainers are cheap insurance. They're not very expensive at all, and they do a wonderful job of straining out that debris before the water gets into your plumbing system. And again, that debris can wreak havoc on all sorts of equipment downstream of the water meter. For example, getting uh, chips of that calcification within a solenoid valve in your ice maker, in your refrigerator, or your washing machine, or your dishwasher solenoid. That's going to cause that valve to leak, and ultimately it's going to have to be repaired or replaced. So again, I think Y strainers are something that should be used in all plumbing systems. Now, the theory is you come out of the, uh, the meter on your property, and once you exit that meter, you'll want to install the Y strainer to filter that debris before the water gets to any of the downstream equipment. Now, at Zurn Wilkins, we offer three varieties of Y strainer. We have our model YB. This is a domestic Y strainer, and we have the ability to fit the strainer with any size mesh between 20 and 100. 20 mesh is your industry standard, it has the largest openings, but if we're dealing with debris and sediment in the water that's much finer in nature, we can move to a 40, 60, 80, or 100 mesh screen. Now the way the screens work, it's the larger the number, the smaller the opening. And to kind of give you a little example between two sizes, a standard 20 mesh screen has openings on the order of about 34 thousandths of an inch. When we move all the way up to a 100 mesh screen, its opening inside is about 5 thousandths of an inch. So naturally, we're going to want to look at the debris, the size of the, the particle in the water, and pick the appropriate strainer in order to filter that debris out of the water. Now, the YB is a domestic strainer, but Zern Wilkins also offers an imported strainer too. That's referred as the SXL. And again, the, the current YB is the XL variety. It is a lead-free product, so just want to you know, stay on top of the lead-free issue. The SXL model, it's equipped with a 20 mesh only strainer. So if you need a finer strainer, you're going to want to move to the YBXL series as opposed to the SXL. We also have in our lineup the model FS and FSC flange strainer. These will be typically used with your large diameter backflow. Anything two and a half inch or larger is what we consider large diameter, and they're going to come as flanged valves. The FS model, it's a painted model, it would be used more with raw water, irrigation, something to that effect. When we deal with the potable water, we want to go with the FSC series, and that's epoxy coated inside and out with FDA approved epoxy for use with potable water. Now, in some installations, we have to be very careful about blindly going in and installing a Y strainer, and that's due to the fact that many municipalities will not allow anything between the backflow preventer and the meter itself. The fear is that a Y strainer can be a cross connection. As an example, with this FSC, all of them have a blowdown port in the cover. And the intended purpose is for you to add a ball valve to that such that you can open the ball valve periodically and drain out any of that debris. Well, again, the code authorities feel that that could be a cross connection, and absolutely they are correct. So, in order to alleviate those fears, the suggestion would be to put a plug in the cover. When it comes time to clean the strainer, rather than blowing it down, we are going to have to pull off the cover and physically pull out the screen and clean it. But avoiding a blowdown valve will avoid that cross connection. So again, if your authority having jurisdiction box at having a strainer between the meter and the backflow preventer, you can talk to them about procuring a strainer, for example, the YBXL. We have a model that we call, uh, well, basically it has a cover with no plug in it. And again, on the large diameter FSC, you just want to thread a pipe plug in there good and tight, and that way we've eliminated any potential cross connection. So once again, I'll say it and I'll tell anybody that'll listen to me, strainers are cheap insurance. I strongly suggest that you install them. They're there to capture that debris within the municipal water, and it will protect the downstream equipment from any damage that could be caused by that debris. I'd like to thank you for watching our video today. 
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our One Zern YouTube channel. For more product information or to speak to a customer care representative, please visit our website at zern.com.